guys, we're about to go into Mothra and the reverse of Mothra 2. And from according to this, Mothra faces a new foe in Dagara, a garbage eating. Oh no. Oh no. You could have just by saying that you already know where this is going, right? Yep. Monster whose presence threatens Earth's oceans. Ah! Oh, where have we seen this fly? From the very existence of humankind, but the appearance of a wonderful creature leads three kids to the legendary underwater world of Nia Kakani, where a long hidden magical treasure holds that owes the promise of a prosperous planet. Join Mazar as she fights the explosive battle of her life to save the planet she loves. I'm, I'm already worried, aren't you? Oh yeah, just from this, it's just like, oh no, we've already seen plots like this before. <laughs> the moment you say garbage eating, you're like... Oh no, that just sets off like, red flags. This at least, at least this and the first one felt like it was dealing with the trees at least. Mm -hmm. But not annoyingly so. If you, what you're doing was garbage and pollution, you're going to get more preachy, I think. Mm -hmm. Pray for us. We'll see you on the other end. Here's hoping it's better than we think. Hey, guys. I... What the fuck did we just watch? <laughs> no kidding. No joke this time. Not like with Space Godzilla. This what? was bad. This was an actual atrocity. This is out of all the guys up. Not Count Gamma. Okay. This is still not Gamera Super Monster level bad. Let us agree to that, right? We can at least agree to that. Because, because there was no that, stock footage. There was no stock footage. Which it puts was us, all original, and it, for a while, we at least We're going to give it a four. We the, gave it a four. We were already going in. Like, within the first couple minutes, we were saying, okay, it's going to be a four by default. But towards the end, it just circled the drain to the point where now, this is the second... If, if you're adding this with the Godzilla movies, second worst, period. This is second to... Revenge. Yeah. And for a high side movie, that is damning. It's just like all of. Like, Have we ever had? We never had any high side movie that low. Yeah, we never had anything that was like below a six. I think. Yeah, nothing. This was already. And, and the fact we were going and making this be a four right off the bat. What is that? Because yeah. like everyone's annoying the plot. I, I was expecting a green ass up. We didn't get that. Thank God. That would have made it worse. That would have taken it down to zero, or to one. Like, the closest we got is, like, with our evil fairy kind of ranting a bit about humans don't deserve but, the Earth. But, but that's, that's, that's playing off a of last movie. Yeah. But, yeah, just, well, what, Belvera's, we don't even see what happened to her at the end. Yeah. She just takes off. It deals with this type of, now, there's some stuff that, like, Nera can, whatever, you know, based off an actual location. But then it turned out, oh, it's Atlantis. Yeah, they basically play it like Atlantis. Okay, fair enough. There's some ideas that are good, but the bat, the monster is so generic. Like, it's just... I mean, at least with God's Gamera the Brave, generic monster, but it was so reveling and in its, it's evil. It's just like, it w yeah, it was the presentation that saved that monster. This one is just... This is just, like... The only thing good about it was the evil starfish that attached to which yeah, at the beginning was actually good. It had potential at the beginning. You see these guys, you know, are going like, oh, trash. I'm like, we groaned. As soon as we heard that, we're like, we groaned right off the bat, didn't we? Yeah, but then it's just like we see one of these starfish just Could come up and then onto them. No, it squirts something, and then he's covering his face like it's foam, and I'm like, did he die? I think he died. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the kids are annoying. It's like they're all, um, um, what was her name from the last one? Mm. Maga, um, Ma Toto. No, 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 from the last Masra. Uh. Magaga, Ma Ma uh, what was her name? Uh, whatever. But yeah, now that the twins were hardly used. It's just like you had good characters and then you just let them fall by the wayside. When you were around, we, like when Belvera was on, we were like, yeah, save it. Yeah, please save this movie. Okay? We don't want you to win, but please save it with entertainment. Mm -hmm. But then she took off. I dozed off throughout the move then by the, at one point. Yeah. For a couple minutes only, not long, but. Yeah, or it's just like, wow, you actually did doze <laughs> off. And there was just a point where it's just like, screw this movie. I'm just going to go and grind out some fish on Genshin Impact. And we have this little puffball named Gorga. Yeah, where it's just like a cute animal mascot that, oh, ends up being the key of the heart in order to, like, whatever with Del. Get, yeah, apparently, don't apparently uh, Leo gets all. Leo hardly does much. Yeah. Until the very end. And it's like. Ugh! Everything 
was so, oh, but yeah, apparently now Leo getting taken down by the starfish. Okay, makes sense. Then you have the twins try blasting up and they go, Masura, yeah, Masura, chum, Masura, yeah, Masura, chum. It's like, what? That was, that was dumb. You have to keep saying Masura, yeah, Masura to shoot. What? What? And Masura was like wimp in this and then got taken down and for a good chunk. Then they're running around inside. Apparently there was a flashback I missed. Yeah, and I barely remember it. Yeah, and then, oh, Gorgo um, unleashes all the power of the city of the Lost Island into Mothra. Mothra becomes Armored Mothra. Yeah. And that armor look was atrocious, too. Yeah, it's just like... It looks like a little X, like an X, and it's up to an X beams. And then, oh, takes out the monster. I don't remember his name now. Wait a minute. Dagara. Mm -hmm. That's a generic name. Dagara. And yeah, and then and then it just all of a sudden the princess appears and saying, Come Dagara, come back. And then they blow up the whole island. They are able to run off. And it just ends. Like, it's just like, what even was that? It just it fell absolutely flat on its face. Hell, I think it would have been more entertaining if it had a green Aesop. It really would have. But it what what does it say about this movie that we we're hoping that the green Aesop came in to save it? <laughs> yeah, because at least those ones you know that there's some bit you're putting the plot around. This felt like they had no idea what the hell they were doing. Yeah. This felt like this was a worse slump than Godzilla Rates again. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and the fact is we're putting it down with movies that have she had stock footage. No stock footage here. Just bad quality. It's just like, it's kind of funny because throughout the movie, I was just like, okay, the special effects guys are good, but fire the script writers. It's just like, but okay, then fire the suit writers. And then at the end of the movie, you know what? Fire everybody. Yeah, because by the end of it all, even when you had, you know, the armor. Now, his uh, powered up form at first looked good mm -hmm. with the rainbow wings. Yeah. But then you have the twins even saying like, oh, I miss Gorgo. Look at his wings. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything on the wings. This movie just sucked in a way we haven't felt in a long time. Yeah, it's just like we've had some mad movies, but we haven't had some movies that made us feel physically repulsed. I know. I mean, heck, even Resident Evil 6, which was, I think, our last really bad movie, even that one was bad because of how it closed everything out. Mm -hmm. On its own, it wasn't bad. Uh-huh. But here, just, good God. This is one of the worst sophomore slumps I think we've ever seen. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've had some great sophomore movies. Yeah. I mean, um, Legion. No, no. Was it Legion? Or, yeah, Legion. Um, even Raids Again was bad, but that was one because they were stumbling around. And you give them the plot. It's like, no one else did a movie like that before. Yeah, you can give them a little bit. Biolante was amazing. Mm hmm But this. I thought you was how good the last one was. It's just like. this one, The last one was for family. This one was for babies. Mm-hmm. Ooh, shiny stuff. Stuff that no one's gonna kids are no other kids you know kids are gonna pay attention to. They're just rambling because they can keep on moving through. Otherwise, they if I bet you they can get rid get go through this movie without any dialogue. They they would have. Hmm. Cause everything was just so flashy. Ooh. Yeah, and there was not much of the plot that was worth remembering. Well, next one, hopefully Ghidorah can save us as we get into the third and final movie. Catch you, pray for us.